Hello and welcome to CJC Adventures. Carl here and today I'm in the Black Country yet again as I'm going to take a mountain climb. Well, it's not a mountain climb but, you know, gives you that feeling I suppose. Up to Turner's Hill and there's some good views from up that end. So we're going to take a look at that and see what we can see and it's pretty and I've never been up there before to be honest I've been around this area before this is Netherton and there's quite a lot to see around here so we're going to see those things on the way up and see how far we get so let's go and see what we can see and of course this is Cobb's engine house now this was actually used to pump water many many years ago and this was all industrialized this area and there was many people working around here to earn a living you can see the hills over the back you can see the Malvern Hills and it's a cold day today but if you look at those hills they look quite blue don't they they look like the blue mountains and you know it does look actually closer than you actually think when you look over there but you know this this land this was all industrialized this was lots and lots of people working here with mining and you know this was a proper mining community around around these area around these areas so it was it was pretty much you know as you see today it looks very very different but you know there is still lots of remnants along the canals here and of course there was a railway along here many years ago and that railway obviously is long gone but that you know that was probably obviously used to take away the industry to other parts of the country and maybe all over the world but the actual engine house Cobb's engine house that uh, the actual engine what was in there to pump the water around the canals was actually sent to America so yeah how they got it over there in those days is is a mystery I suppose you know they got it over there some way probably more easy to get an engine from here to America these days now this is actually Warren's Hall local nature reserve and it's also known as Bumble Hole and there's a lot of history into why that is actually called Bumble Hole some say it's because of the noise that the industry used to make it used to sound like the name but you know a bit of a mystery some say it was a house what was on here and they named it here but some some people not 100 percent sure where the name comes from what i like about this this pond it's it's actually got one of these bridges that has been put here quite recently and if you look at that water actually runs all the way down there and I imagine across to the canals I can just see Turner's Hill just in the distance you can see that radio mast, it's just what you can see for miles really, you can see that all the way from Tipton and Tipton actually, the view from there, it looks really close but it's not, <laughs> it's not. If you actually look at that, that does look like an old bridge to me, obviously went across this main road but like most things today they're actually taking a lot of these bridges down I know in Tipton they took quite a few down including the Hanson's Bridge now uh, lurking in the woods on the border of Rowley Regis and Netherton is an air shaft to Netherton Tunnel let's go and have a look I've always thought these air shafts have, you know, are very strange to see, aren't they? You know, to think what's actually lurking underground. I 
cold, damp, wet tunnel. And this has literally been here since the 1800s. Wow. There was actually more of these around at one time. But for whatever reason, you know, they've either been blocked up or... They're so fascinating though, aren't they? I think just how long they've actually been here. They really are. I mean, look at the workmanship in the bricks. It's stood here all these years. It really has. So unusual to see. If you take a look on Google Maps, they are listed on Google Maps and numbered. Wow. An historical landmark. Now, if you ever come this way, especially in the winter time, be very, very vigilant if you're heading towards Turner's Hill because you look at that, that is literally awful <laughs> oh what you have to do to see something oh <laughs> I'll carry on we've come to a pond like any pond you get ducks but it's pretty much tucked away actually I mean I'm surprised you know that the, you know the trees and like sort of covering this as much because this is on the way to Turner's Hill. Now this area is actually called Warren's Hall Farm and I mentioned about the rain earlier, I mean look at that. It's quite wet around these parts and there's fishermen just there so that's good. <laughs> actually a horse field around these parts and this is the the hill that I've just come up and I don't think the horses will be very comfortable in that with all the amount of water what's around there but all this is Warren's Hall Farm it's actually obviously it was a farm and then you can see houses over the back so them must have sprung up at some point over time and on the way to Turner's Hill this way uh, this is also another field for horses but you can actually tell because you can tell by the actual hoof prints as well so yeah it's uh, it's quite interesting around here it's quite quiet as well now that is what you call a view. You've got Netherton to the right, you've got Merrill in the distance, you've got the Malvern Hills just over there. Wow, it really is like climbing Mount Everest coming up here. <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely recommended by me to anyone who fancy walking. I mean, look at that, that is just spectacular. You can see from miles and miles. Wow. And now as the horse stables, you can just see the side there of the stables itself. So that is actually probably private property, so I won't be heading towards that way. This will be the way that I'll be heading. Even more of a high point. This is actually a better view of the horse stables. They really look so tidy, don't they? And clean and, you know, really looked after. I've not seen an horse though. I imagine them all stabled up today. <laughs> Proper horse stable there. Proper. I imagine they do riding as well. Now I am assuming that this is Dudley Golf Course. Now on Dudley Golf Course is Turner's Hill and 
the famous landmark, which is of course the radio tower. So we'll continue. It's on a bit of a flatter ground now, so it's not too bad. Yeah, you can see one of the old, those masts in the distance there, over the back of the golf course. So we're on track to reach new target and our goal today. Look at that, I mean that's a good example of flooding. Unless it cools like that actually. Overflowing, a bit like a bath really. I finally made it. It's been a bit of a jaunt, a bit of a walk, but this is Rowley Regis's very own Turner's Hill. Now there is an old pub here called the Weed Shift, but it looks as though it has been pretty much closed for many, many years now. It's in a bit of a state. I'm surprised they don't knock buildings like this down sooner, to be fair. Look at this house. I mean, it really does look like 1960s, 1970s style. I'm surprised, you know, that there is actually looking through these railings. You can't actually go up to it, not as I'd want to really anyway. But you've got a pool around here. I don't know if that floods or not. I'm surprised if anybody actually lives there. It looks like a really old house. It's never had anything at all done to it. <laughs> This is Dudley Golf Club, founded in 1893, so it's been here quite a while then. If you fancy a game of golf, probably not today, it's just started to rain actually, so I'll pass I think. <laughs> you don't really see these farmer's gates anymore, like this for some reason. More metal, so it's a bit of a relic, whatever that is, and we get the first view of the radio mast on Turner's Hill. It does actually say there, public footpath. So if you are out and about around areas, then if anybody says you can't walk there, but actually if you see a sign like that, you obviously can. <laughs> and more of a different view radio mast. I'm actually surprised you know over the years of you know when you when you're in Tipton and you look over and you see that um, and it looks so close but the journey I've took today you know through Dudley and you know Netherton my Rowley Regis and I finally found it and it's like you know how do you miss it but you know this is pretty much you know breathtaking to see in person. And you can see the horses there below. Hello Mr. Horse, how are we doing? We should have bought you some food. To be honest I've not bought myself any. <laughs> now some of the history of Turner's Hill and it's the highest hill in the county of the West Midlands at 271 metres, that's 889 feet above sea level and the hill is in the Rowley Hills range situated of course and within Rowley Regis and the boundaries of Dudley now it can be seen from many miles away and offers a great view of the Clent Hills, Kinveridge and many other places such as Bar Beacon and on a clear day you can see the Malvern Hills it's really like something from um, one of these sci-fi films. <laughs> now facing it over the back you can see another part, I do believe that that, he, that is actually in the middle uh, a mast that is joined to here. And it's just starting to rain and snow and We'll move back the way we come now, and it's been great seeing this, this radio mast on Turner's Hill. Until next time, Turner's Hill, I'll see you later. I'm off back home now, see what else I can see on the way back.
let's go. Now on the way back from Turner's Hill, I uh, found this really old yard. And to me, it looks abandoned, but to be fair, you never know because there's some new cameras just there. And it's W. H. Woodhouse. This is the Tividale part of Rowley Regis. And how many stables there are around these parts for horses? We've only seen one horse today. We just say on that gate there, please do not feed the horses. But uh, they must be all inside today, I imagine. The only one we saw was by the actual radio radio tower mass so we're on the way back the way we came now i mean if you look at that we came up here earlier on and has actually got higher since because it has been sleeting and touches of snow and rain and if you look at this part here it does look i imagine they're probably flooding around this area i don't know even though it's on a hill but uh yeah I don't blame the horses for not coming out today, to be honest. <laughs> the thing I didn't notice on the way up here, it's actually called Warren's Hall Riding School. And, you know, as I mentioned earlier, this is a very clean looking place and very well looked after. So, whoever does it, does a fantastic job. Well done. And this is another one of those spectacular magnificent views that you get but if you stood here a few hours you would probably pick out where you live and you know where about you've been and where your memories are but uh, yeah this is one of the best views I've ever seen it really is it's it's magnificent what I've noticed all along here is rabbit holes I don't know if it's, that's why they call it Warren's Hall because obviously a rabbit is a warren there are rabbit holes down there so yeah, by main road as well could be, who knows we now made it back to Warren's Hall local nature reserve taking the route that I originally went to earlier on and there's the pool over there and one strange thing is that you've got coal and coke there, which is strange really, because all around this area, that was what they used to dig up, maybe it's a remnant. And I've now got back to Cobb's Engine House, and of course, it's nice, like I've mentioned probably before, that places like this still exist and they've been preserved for future generations to see what this land actually was like around these parts because you know it deserves to be seen doesn't it really it really does deserve to be seen and you know people to see you know hard-working people of the past and you know and this is one of those places If you actually look at the brickwork to it, it's, you know, they don't make bricks like that anymore, or do they? I don't know, to be honest. But the oldness of the bricks really gives it away how historic this area actually is. And you can actually see the bolts that are still in the ground where, I assume, the engine stood that used to pump the water out of here. That is proper black country architecture, you know, to think what this place has actually seen and all the hard work that has gone on in here. It really is a sight to see and it does make you feel proud that the black country is one of those places where a lot of industry came from, most of the industry in Great Britain. look at it from that angle you can just imagine can't you how many people was around there barrowing and 
pumping from the canal which is just to the left there wow now you do have a information board like you do in most places like this and the historical background says Bumble Hole was originally the name of a house that was near to a brook crossed by a track near Northfield Road right there earlier on Bumble meant murmuring water and hole referred to as hollow of the Ford Crossing by the end of the 18th century coal mines were being dug in the area and a transport system was needed to get the coal out in 1792 Gad's Green Reservoir was built over the Mouse Sweet Brook nice name to the north and 1798 Dudley No. 2 canal was constructed redirecting the course of the Bumble Brook the canal system served local as well as the distant customers until the industrial phase passed and it became wasted ground resulting in the partial filling of the arm. A local nature reserve was opened in 1996 and that's where we were, where, 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 where earlier on. <laughs> but uh, there you go. And that's it for today on CJC Adventures on a trip up to Warren's Hall Nature Reserve and then on to Turner's Hill and a, well some say it's a phone mass but it's actually a radio tower if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe click on the subscribe icon and then the bell and you'll be notified when each video is uploaded and please share until next time look after yourselves and each other Goodbye for now.